everybody. Welcome to another Cape Conversations. I am at the beautiful canal, and I am down in Buzzards Bay, and I'm going to be talking to the lovely and talented and, and a very, very good business person and nice person, the president and CEO of the Canal Region Chamber of Commerce. That's right, Maria Levo. I can't wait. So come along. Let's have another Cape Conversation. Hi, everybody. I am so excited to be doing this Cape Conversations by the beautiful Cape Cod Canal. And with me, I have a dear friend from 100, what do we think? 100? We said 120 years 120 on or about. Years. Yeah, thereabouts. Anyway, she is a wonderful person and a fabulous business person and knows her stuff about everything that has to do with Cape Cod Canal and the Cape Cod Regional Chamber of Commerce. I am with oh, stop the it. president and executive, <laughs> no, president and CEO <laughs> of the Canal Region Chamber of Commerce. I got it right. Hey, Missy. How are you? <laughs> good. How are you? I'm good. Good. So, I thought you were going to do high five. Oh, I'm so we can do that. There we All go. Right, we did it. See, go. we did it. There we go. So now tell me. Okay. All right. We're sitting here by the canal. How's the summer been? Terrible, huh? No, it's been <laughs> awesome. We've had perf we've had really good weather. Oh, unbelievable and, weather. And uh, as you had mentioned, we were talking earlier that June has been great. And I talked to a lot of uh, business people, not just in the has hospitality industry, but um, everywhere with respect to, it could be graphic artists, could be yeah, advertising, sure. could be accountants, could be attorneys. Right. Um, they're all having a banner year. Wonderful. So the non-hospitality members are doing good and the hospitality members are doing about. great. Restaurants are doing great. So. Oh, excellent. Yeah, wow. so I mean, this Everybody is what wants to eat the out. feedback <laughs> that I get from yeah. a lot of our members. Yeah. 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 So you're, you, you've been here a while. Yes. And you're, what, I know you do the, the uh, Scallop Fest. Cape Cod Scallop Fest. Right, and Italy. it is coming up when? It's coming up on September 23rd through the 25th. 23rd to the 25th. 25th. It's the 47th year. I haven't done all 47, <laughs> but I've done You eight, don't look that old. <laughs> but I've done 18. Oh my god. 18 Scarlet Fest. Are you oh kidding me? God. You know what's involved with this management yeah, planning? I it's, can't, just, it's like the major event of the season. It is a major event. It's our largest fundraiser and yeah. we take the money obviously and put it back into the community, back sure. to our members. So sure. we have to raise money because we are a nonprofit and sure. we do all our own fundraising. We're not sure. a part of the government per right. se, which some people think we are. Right. Right. But the Scarlet Fest is our largest fundraiser. We have over 34 business sponsors that wow. support us. That's great. So that's great. So we're how very many, proud of that. How many members do you have? We have about 650 members. Wow. Yeah, that's we because we cover Born Sandwich where him. Right, right. So, yeah. yeah, and even though Sandwich has their own Chamber of Commerce, yeah. you still cover them because you did for years and we, years and years. We did. We we do. We work very well with Jay Patikas. Yeah, He's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, we do a lot guy. of joint events together. Yeah. And we have a very collaborative relationship. Well, I've yeah. even noticed you've done events with Mashpee. Yes. That's which is We have a big Cape event Cod. coming up with um, the Cape Cod Chamber, the Sandwich Chamber, the Mashpee Chamber, and the Falmouth Chamber. Where, when is that? And that's on August 17th at the Cape Club. I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Oh, you know what? I know you, about this. Because right. I'm, I'm on the board of the Cape Chamber, you, but I have to start paying more right. attention. Well, right. Well, it's limited to 50 people per chamber, and we've oh. already sold out. And that's unusual. So, so I can't because go. it's two hundred people. No, because you you could do it through the sandwich chamber or the Cape Cod chamber. Cape you can Cod register chamber. through them. Oh, okay. All right. So where's the Cape Club? It used to be the formerly the Bally Mead. Oh, sure, sure, yeah. sure. Okay, and, and great. East Falmouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So let's great. go back to the Scallop Fest. Okay. Eighteen years and counting. Mm-hmm. So what's going to be there? Is it going to be the same thing? You get to play the scallops and whatever? Yeah. Um, no. We've met oh. a lot of new changes. Wow. Um, the scallop Great. fest is... So are you um, reinventing yeah. it? Yeah. Or are you just... Yeah, pretty much. That's a good way. Are you just way. pepping it up? I would say we're reinventing it. Okay. Um, I think bottom line is that we moved, as you know, from Buzz Bay Park because it was too small. Yeah. We needed extra space in order to grow and sure. be, stay in existence. Yeah. Um, so we're having a lot of new opportunities there. We're having, we're really kicking up our entertainment a notch. Oh, wow. Or uh, more than a notch. Um, we're having Kristen Merlin, who was a finalist on The Voice. Wow. She's going to be our headliner on Saturday night. Wow. We always have N Train on Sunday night. So will you sell special tickets just to go to that? No, and your admission um, brings you into the festival, which is seven bucks, yeah. which is not Nothing. expensive. No. Um, 
and so we just think that's a good value. Oh, wow. Yeah. So well, what are the hours? Okay. From 11 to 8, okay. Friday and Saturday, and 11 to 6 on Sunday. Wow. Yeah. Fun. So we have, what we're going to do is have a different um, genre each day for the music. Uh -huh. So we're having um, uh, Cape Cod Broadcasting present the entertainment nice. on Saturday night, and they'll be there. Yeah, live. Live. And wow. then iHeart Radio is on Sunday Wonderful. and they'll present Americana type music. Right. And then on Friday we have Codcom, Cape Cod Radio, uh -huh. presenting the entertainment on Friday. So you're going to have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, different types of entertainment. Fun. And we completely refocus the layout. So, and this is a logistical thing, but it's important. It's yeah. more of a village atmosphere. So you're going to walk down a particular road on each side of the, I should call it a pathway. Yeah. On each side of the pathway, the food and entertainment's going to be together. And we added a village stage, stage on one end and an entertainment stage on the other. So the village stage, stage is going to be primarily um, solo performances. So if you don't nice. want to, yeah. And we've got a lot of kid, new kids activities. We've got the 4-H club coming in. Oh, wonderful. We've got um, a myriad of kids activities and Kids on the Cape is sponsoring all the kids activities. So oh, that's fun. that's going to be um, oh, a completely be new. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Well, I was wondering what, um, you know, before you go and you get your plate of scallops, and which are always fabulous, um, but you know, there's long lines. Are, will that logistically yeah, be? Yeah, right kind now, of? right now we're good with that. We figured that out. Oh, um, cool. The first year was a little bit tough yeah. when we moved. Yeah. Um, so we figured that out that there isn't going to be long lines because we have changed where people come in to enter, oh. um, and we've changed the location of the scallop tent. So we think oh, that's going to be good. And and in fact, what we've done is that if you can get tickets online at a discount, two dollar discount. You don't have to wait in line. So for five dollars. So seven dollars. For seven dollars. Right. Discount. It, it, well, what happens? Good question. What happens? You buy a combination ticket, so you can get a chicken or um, oh, I scallop see. dinner. So you pay twenty-two dollars, which includes right. the seven for right. chicken, I twenty-four gotcha. for scallop. All right. You come you in, go. you go online, you get your tickets. They get mailed to you. You don't have to wait in any line. It's like kind of a VIP line, nice. a VIP entrance. Oh, good. And then the lines outside will not be, you know, as long. May, you know, we average sometimes between a 10 and 20 minute wait, 10 minutes maybe to get in, yeah. and then 10 minutes maybe to get your scallops. A lot of people come in and maybe they don't want to eat right away and they, they can get the scallop dinners later. Right. Because we have arts and crafts as well, which is, which is juried, which means professional. Right. These people make their own products. Right. Yeah. Wonderful. So if I want these wonderful tickets, how do I get them? Online? Um, well, I'm not going to give you any complimentary tickets. <laughs> Oh no! Well, you're trying oh, to make I, money. I will. I promise. No, I will. No, 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 She's no, trying no. To, You're trying to make money. No, I get no, it, no, I get no. It. Um, the so. tickets can be um, purchased online or at the gate. Or at the gate. So you can purchase them so. in advance or purchase them at the gate. But online where? Online at Cape Cod. ScallopFest.com. Okay, so you have your own website. Oh yeah, we and have. Does our, it have all this information? It has on it? everything on it. We've all got right. a fantastic Cape interactive Cod. website. Cape Cod. Connect, I'm sorry. Cape Cod ScallopFest.com. Okay. Yes. Cape Cod Scallop Fest. Yes. Dot com. Com. We got to go online. Okay. Yep. All right. Great. So, so if I go there, it's not going to be, at, you know, like oh well. If I say to myself, oh, I've been there, you know, in 18 years, I've probably gone to 15. Oh, they'll all be the same. This one is a little. This bit one's going to be. We're also, yeah, we're going to have a couple of car shows. At the same time, yeah. So we got something for dad too. So yeah, on something Saturday, for something. Oh, kids love antique cars. Oh, I know. They so we're do. gonna have an antique car oh, show wonderful. on Saturday, and then a classic club club show, which is the Falmouth Classic Car Club, yeah. on um, on Sunday. Oh, excellent, excellent, yeah. excellent. Yeah. Well, it sounds like it's just gonna be a terrific. Fun family event. Now, is that do they serve alcohol there? Yeah, we have a beer and wine garden. Oh, they We've have got a beer and wine, wine garden. garden, and we're going to have new mm. some craft beers which you can sample and purchase. Really? So I'm not a big beer drinker, I'm except in the summer yeah, with the well, with lobster yeah, and yeah. fried fish. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I have. A, I like to drink Stella Atra. I shouldn't say that because we're not going to be serving that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You can have a preference. So, um, yeah, we're going to be so sampling. So these are local small craft companies? Yes, L. Knife and Sons. Okay. We'll be doing but, that. All right. Um, and are they being craft beers from around New England? Are they yes. New England craft beers? Yes. Oh, yes. Great. New England craft beers. And then we're also having Barefoot Wines be the sponsor so you can sample oh, different types of wine from oh, Barefoot Wines. Oh, so just 
you know, that's new when we got cornhole tournaments. Really? So, yeah, the people love that. Oh, yeah. So you have to register. That. You can register for that. Yeah. And uh, that, that'll that be a fun thing to do. Well, that sounds great. So, yeah. And that's all a little bit different from Yeah, a little bit back. different. Yeah. That's great. Village stage, cornhole tournaments, car shows. And, and professional artists. Professional arts artists and crafts. Crafts. We've We've had that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you've had, that's yeah. right. You have had that. Yeah. I knew that, actually. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, I think it's great you're stepping it up a notch. Yeah, yeah, you know? we, we should. We never rest on our laurels. No. So what we do is that well, each year, no. you know, <laughs> we try to get feedback. Yeah. You know, we right. have group tours, group bus tours as well. Yeah. And we're a top 100 event in North America, rated by wow. the American Bus Association for six years in a row. Wow. Um, because of how we treat our group tours. Sure. We have to have 500 volunteers man the fest. Mm -hmm. So this year we're going to do something different and give them each a volunteer swag bag nice. which is all kinds of real goodies in right. there i mean we're right. going to get market basket potato chips <laughs> do you need volunteers we need we need 500 volunteers yes and we, on we need volunteers and on cape cod scholar fest .com, there's yeah. a volunteer registration form okay we can have businesses that send teams of people as well okay and our sponsors also send volunteers oh so. that's great and we really we can't do it without our volunteers the people really you know for a six hour shift you can get a scallop plate at half price and you can get um, a coke and tax all included and then um, get a swag bag and um, help us Thank out you. get everybody gets a t-shirt excellent yeah that says so cape, what's that your says logo? cape our logo is a scallop oh cool yeah Cool. Yeah. And it says Cape Cod Scallop Fest. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Across the maybe I should Across volunteer. Across the front. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to have you volunteer. There we could go. have you volunteer selling beer. Yeah. Oh, I'd be a great beer seller. <laughs> <laughs> one for you, one for me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, that sounds terrific. So let's go back to business. Yeah. Um, the business of business. Uh, so you uh, you are really in sandwich, born in Wareham. Mm -hmm. Now you know I drove in here down. Um, down the main street here uh, of Buzzards Bay. And you look at Buzzards Bay and you go, why can't we make right. this work? That's such a good question. And it's so relevant because across from the chamber there is this dilapidated building that has a tarp over it. So our Buzzards Bay Visitor Center, which we got a CPC, a Conservation Preservation Committee grant from the town, yeah. to fix that railroad station visitors for $125,000. Wow. And we've completely changed it. So we have visitors coming in between twenty five and 30000 right. per right. year. Right. They come in. There's murals in the, in, in the restrooms. Mm -hmm. It looks absolutely stunning. And then they drive by and see this building. Right. It is so frustrating. The landlords do not cooperate. There are several buildings in a row, especially downtown town across from the park a right across from the canal right so um, the town has condemned it now and they will eventually if they don't demolish it themselves the town will demolish it I would like the town to take it by eminent domain because they don't do the right thing they won't fix up their buildings right they don't attract businesses that stay in business very long and they won't tear it down so it, 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 what do they want you know well, are they waiting for a fire so they can yeah it's just you know and I don't want to be <laughs> negative but I have yeah. to tell the truth when it comes to that because I get this question all the time right. we're the Chamber of Commerce um, why you know a lot of businesses on Main Street right do very well it's a mile long so we've done infrastructure right. we've done benches right. we're putting in 1.5 million dollars into Buzz's Bay Park 1.5 wow. that came from Conservation Preservation Committee grants. So there's going to be a gateway. There's going to be a beautiful landscaping, wow. kids' playground. So you think and you go, look, all this um, investment that we're making, right. and the landlords, and the town is making, and the, the, the town is making you got to you got to think about why why would anybody in they, business? And if they don't want it, why don't they try to sell it? Because what they want is ridiculous amounts right. of money they think that they think it's worth far more and by the way it's been going on for about 40 years well I know because I'm a lifelong time. resident so 40 years this has been going on so it's right. wrong because um, Buzzards Bay so. used to be a vital main street oh yes town. used to have a hardware store yeah, and a drug everything. store but there is a hotel going in though this is the good news they just got fine we've been working on this for three years with oh the gosh. investor where's it going so across from the town hall at 24 Perry Avenue would be the entrance but it's going to be near the Keystone um, facility which oh, okay. is assisted um, living facility sure, sure. On, off of Main Street right it's going to be um, between that and the town hall on a large track of property wow. overlooking the canal four Can stories high is? 
Well, they haven't they haven't determined the it'll be a chain restaurant, uh, but they haven't determined chain, what I it mean, is. A chain hotel. hotel. I'm sorry, yeah, I said, but restaurant. there will be a restaurant in oh, there, sure. and there will be um, some shops. So finally, they were able to buy the property. That went to court because there was a long story in terms yeah. of the owners, you know, had to get together and they all agree. So that's done, and they got their sewage. They got their they'll get their planning board. We all support it. The town supports it. The chief executive of the town. So that's great. We news. think that'll revitalize the area. So we've got portions of Main Street sure. that are that are great, and it looks nice. We got that beautiful clock that was donated. Yeah. Um, so we've got all that going on, and then well, when you, you have go the down, Cabela's building, yes, and then you have the the rec center or what? It, right, the community seems, center. Community center, which is fabulous. we have the anchors all along Main Street, fire yeah. police, yeah, uh, post office, which yeah. is good because it creates pedestrian traffic, yes, it does. which is what we want. But the downtown, the the, the end of the the road where our railroad <laughs> station is, where the Mass Maritime Academy is, you would think that there you would, would be think. we need all kinds of right. But guess what we did? Out. We um, got a growth incentive zone um, uh, uh, designation from the Cape Cod Commission from three years ago to uh -huh. make that. Um, you wouldn't have to go through as much um, uh, zoning requirements sure. from the Cape Cod Commission. Wonderful. So the so the zoning requirements are less restrictive. That's and you can put up four stories there on Main Street, wow. which was done at our local town hall. Right. So you can actually put condos above right. and business below so and going up four stories again again here's a situation where a landlord won't sell and the, across from the beautiful national marine life center right. here's another example of a landlord there that won't sell and so that has to be purchased and investors we got investors interested right the landlords have to do the right thing because they truly are an impediment to what we're trying to do on Main Street. Are, those, are the landlords absentee? Or are they from oh, the they're community? absentee. They have no stake in the community. And yeah, right. I won't make any bones about it because it's wrong. Right. It's absolutely wrong what they're doing. Well, they're hanging on to it, trying to make a fast buck, and the fast buck isn't coming. Right. Well, after, after 40, 40 years, years, what are you going to do? So we have sewage on Main <laughs> Street for them. Right. What they want is the town right. to, to give everything to them. Right. You have to give back. Businesses should give back to the community as well because they do better, and it will come back to help them. Right. Yeah. Right. In the long anyway, run. I get very passionate about that. Well, what you're telling me is, if we can get, bu I mean, as I said, I really think that Buzzards Bay and will help all of Cape Cod because you are the entrance. You're not coming across the Sagamore Bridge. Mm -hmm. You are the entrance, we, uh, the entrance to the Cape, and it should be beautiful and welcoming. And look at this beautiful spot right. with the beautiful canal and the railroad bridge. Well, and all three the great million stuff. people come visit the canal. That's from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Amazing. each year. So yeah. you have all those people plus our visitor center. Right. Then we have a visitor center at the base of the Sagamore Bridge, which is oh, another yes. way where everybody yeah. stops. That attracts right. about forty thousand people a year. So we give about thirty thousand referrals every year to our business members, of which right. we track by zip code. Right. And so literally people come in, write their zip code, and we put it in a database, and then we track all our referrals. So it's Great. and how many. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, the businesses really um, get a lot for their chamber membership. I would say so. Yeah. I would definitely say but so. But again, back to Main Street, I really think that um, it, we're turning the corner. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. and I hope so. I, I truly hope so. I live in Sandwich, yeah. but I truly hope so because it would, I go to Wareham Crossing. You right. know, I go across the bridge. For I the love Wareham Crossing. We yeah. all love Wareham Crossing. Yeah. It's the big box users, but right. what would we do without Target? Well, a lot <laughs> of investment is going on in East Wareham now. I've heard that. So, I've heard that, yeah. which is true. Which is yeah, you've got A.D. Bakepiece, that hotel over yeah. there. Here's an example of a hotel, Town Place Suites in Wareham. Right. From that, they, they're putting, they, 99 moved over there. Right. They have a bank, um, an eye doctor, a Five liquor guys. store. Five Guys Burgers. Be, because the town place suites are suites, they don't have um, in-house hospitality amenities. Right. So the amenities are on, off site right. right there next to the hotel. Right. So that hotel brought in all those businesses. When this hotel comes in, we expect the same domino oh, sure. effect. Sure, yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. that's wonderful. Yep. But what's coming up in September? The Cape Cod Scallop Fest, September 23rd to, through the 25th. And that's a big deal for us. And people from all over the Cape and all over Massachusetts and throughout the country come to it every year. 
um, a lot of new activities. Check us out on the website, which is which is CapeCodScarletFest.com. Excellent. And uh, along and with get two dollars off your ticket. Yeah, Buy them right. online. Don't go be hassling somebody there at the gate. Why? Have your tickets when you walk you in. Bet. You, you bet. You get save two bucks. You bet. How fabulous. Yeah, and we're looking forward to it. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you very I much. I appreciate it. It's so good to see you. And right. thank you for bringing me out to this Thanks. beautiful spot. You're welcome. Thank you. We should you. all be out here today. I know. It's I know. awesome. Awesome Maybe weather. Maybe I'll come back with a bottle of wine for sunset. <laughs> I just might do that. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Thanks again. All right. Thank you. I really think Maria Leva has the right idea about Buzzards Bay. And I think what she's saying about getting those property owners in line and letting them know we need to fix it up, take an interest, and make it work because, you know, it can work. And it's worked all over the country when they revitalize downtowns. They're being very silly. But on another note, we were here really to talk about Scallop Fest. And that's going to be fabulous. And it's September 23rd through the 25th. So I'm glad you joined me today. I hope you had fun. I sure did because I'm by the canal. Anyway, see you next time on another Cape Conversation.